Today we'll be looking at how to use question mark to create a basic multiple choice question and to enhance that question by including video, images, and prescriptive feedback. Once you have logged in using your web browser, navigate to the authoring area and then to the topics area. All of the questions that you author or import into question mark are saved to topic or subtopic folders. This hierarchical folder system, along with your ability to meta tag your questions, is the principal way of organizing your item bank. Let's begin by navigating to the topic folder we want our question saved in. Then click New, select the item type. Now we're ready to enter our question stimulus and choices. It's easy to remove choices or add additional choices, or to add an all of the above or none of the above choice. Next, we indicate which is the correct choice. So now we've created a basic multiple choice question in no time at all. In fact, we could simply save the question now and move on to creating additional items. But there's so much more we can do with this item. You can use the question editor toolbar to add images, audio or video to the question stimulus, choices, or feedback. You could even include equations and formulas for mathematical questions. If you wish to add video to the stimulus, you could either upload the video directly into the system or you can embed a video. You could use the edit HTML button to embed a video iframe or you can use the embed video button to embed videos from streaming services like YouTube. Now let's add some prescriptive feedback that will be displayed based on which choice the participant selects. We could add some basic text or something more comprehensive that includes links to relevant documentation or learning resources. And just as in the stimulus, you can include images within the question choices and the choice level feedback. If you want to randomize the order in which the choices are displayed to each participant, set your choice shuffling options here. You can assign relevant meta tags to your items. Meta tagging your items can be a very useful and powerful way of organizing your item bank and for setting up rules-based item selection when you create your test and exam forms. Finally, let's do a spell check Then we can save our question. Once our question is saved, we can try it out. And that's how you create a multiple choice question in Question Mark. 